Cool. So this is our uh, our setup that's standard across all of our cars. Um, we've got the instrument cluster over here, which is a beautiful display. It's kind of this three-dimensional space that we've created with a center vehicle status dial. So that's got all the information you need for like your speedometer, your instantaneous power, and uh, gear selector, as well as a, a readout of sort of the state of charge and your, your range. Of course, if you're driving, you'd have a, a large digital readout of the, of the speed. But you'll notice on the left and right hand sides, we've got like these customizable zones. So right now, it's talking over the 17 inch display and kind of showing what I'm listening to and also the efficiency of the car. And you can customize these and have different things uh, that we'll have for startup production, such as you know turn by turn navigation and various other views. Um, and then on the center display, we've got the main setup, which is kind of uh, two different apps that are running at any given time, as well as persistent controls at the bottom um, and persistent navigation for the apps up top. So anything that you want to run, just one tap away and it starts loading up. Um, you can also switch the orientation of the displays. So if you want something to run on top and bottom, you can do that. Um, back to nav, if you wanted something just full screen, go ahead and get satellite view that'll load in over 3G. Zoom out Can this get Wi-Fi also? It will have Wi-Fi. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It'll actually be a hotspot, so you can connect, you know, a number of different devices to it. And eventually, you guys will go 4G or something. Yeah. Whatever standard I think in the areas of our cars, we'll look into latest and greatest just to make sure it's a good experience. But mm -hmm. uh, you can also switch out of satellite mode and go into like a night view, which will look really nice in the eyes oh, wow. on the highway and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of the configuration. You can sort of do this half screen, full screen mode. Um, down the bottom, you'll see that we've got like climate controls. So I'll just go ahead and turn that on. So if you just want to quickly reach out and just turn it down to like 65, you can do that. Um, you know, also volume, you've got control down here. So you've got this like heads up display sort of update. If you want to go in and tweak, you know, some settings, I want the vents to the feet and then instead of the face, you can do that. Or you can just let auto do its thing. Um, for common access controls that are normally on the dashboard, that are littered everywhere, we've kind of put them in one spot for the driver. It's really easy to access. This is kind of our controls palette. Uh, just showing an example of how this could work. We've got this disabled for the demo, but for Sunroof, for example, you can just sort of reach out and set it to whatever percentage you'd like. Um, and then you actually see an animation of that moving. Or you can just hit it all the way open, or you know, all the way closed. But uh, other things like lights, you get a real-time status of everything that's going on, so you can turn them on and off um, and see that update in the render. Same thing with like DRLs, you can just kind of customize how you want it to look. Fog on and off, um, we've got that disabled as well. And of course, interior lighting. For doors and locks, we've got sort of, you know, everything that's going on. So as I open up the door here, you'll see an animation of it opening up. Really helpful if someone's closed the front trunk but it's cracked and you can't quite tell from this view. Um, for safety reasons, it's really great to get an overview of that. So this is kind of a, a place that you'll see a lot of change before start of production. Um, but this is where all of those hard controls would, would live. Uh, this is your access point for that. Um, also, if you want to come in and sort of change the brightness of the displays, kind of tune into whatever you know feels good on your eyes at night. We've got a day and night mode as well, so this will hold up extremely well during you know, daylight. We're sitting in the signature series here with the um, amazing sunroof, so it's a lot of glass, but this is actually tinted, so that coupled with the day mode has phenomenal viewing um, at any given brightness. Um, just walk through a couple you know, more of the apps, like we've got a full-on web browser, it's just, you know, equivalent to like a Apple Safari or Google Chrome. Um, of course, just reading the New York Times full screen is pretty amazing. Uh, again, this is all 3G on the fly, so if you want to look up a movie time or go to open table and get that reservation, uh, you can do that. What's the resolution of this? So this is 1200 wide by 1920 tall, so it's over 1080p. Uh, it's a pretty phenomenal screen. The uh, pixel density on this is equivalent to that of like a MacBook Pro. Um, so super high res. And same with these guys. I mean, just the, the contrast ratio is actually better than <laughs> what's actually needed. So um, it holds up fantastic. But uh, so this is our media player down here. We've got a bunch of different sources. So think of this as like your universal media player. 
So traditional radio, we've got uh, everything from satellite radio, AM, FM. But internet is where it really shines. We've got a couple partners there. Tune in and Slacker. So let's just go to Slacker for a second. Uh, maybe this might be the sale. Let me check. So this is uh, tune in. This is something that can scan radio stations from around the world, right? So let's go and buy location. Uh, Central America. Let's just try that. Let's go on in Costa Rica. So this is like the most popular radio stations over there right now. Um, let's just try this one. So that all stream in here. And we've got the ability to sort of favorite anything and, you know, previous next station and all that. I'm not sure how great the connection is inside of here. I'm trying another station. Jazz station in Costa Rica. There we go. So if I want to favorite this, just do that. Even though it's at low volume right now, let's turn it up a little bit. If I want to access that station later, it'll just be right here. So let's sort of see there's the jazz station. It shows which one you're listening to, and I could just delete that from the favorites as well. So but if I want to go back to local, you know, just turn on something again. So we scrub it like you normally would. Seat warmers, cycle through those. Very easy to do. If you want to go into your defrost modes, you can do that as well. So all your quick access controls for HVAC are there. Very easy to use. Um, again, it, you know, ability to sort of customize if you want something on top and bottom. Some people like their nav on top. Just whatever you like. Uh, if you want to get a sense of what's going on in the car, you've got sort of the energy breakdown of efficiency. Um, this is sort of work in progress, but uh, again, another area you'll see a lot of change in first start of production. Um, some other features you've got in the car is it's disabled in this one, but uh, the moment you put it in reverse, you get a, a large readout of sort of what's behind you, make sure you're not going to hit anything. Um, sort of a standard phone app that's going to you know, plug into your iPhone or Android device or whatever you have that's Bluetooth enabled. Get all your contacts, make your conference calls. This has a real number, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Somebody else asked the same thing. It's pretty funny. Uh, eventually, we'll have a, you know app ecosystem. So, uh, with partners we have or additional things that we want to push out. So this could be you know themes for the look and feel of your entire dashboard. Um, so if you want to upgrade that look, you can do that. You know, a year down the line or whatever it is. And that was kind of be the, the marketplace for that. So a very easy way to push updates to our, you know, our customers. It's all 3G and Wi-Fi enabled, so we can push out software updates in the middle of the night to you so that by the time you get in the car in the, in the morning, you have the latest and greatest. Um, that's kind of the, the general sort of walkthrough. Um, also got you know favorites and recently played in the media player. Uh, my music and devices will be everything from Bluetooth to hardwired devices. Do you like this one? Yeah, I was just listening to that earlier on the way in. The sound system is absolutely incredible here. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. So, for example, if I wanted to have something else on the bottom, let's just say, well, it's a new oh, dawn, it's a new there. day. You'll see it's that I've still got a you know, media player up here, so yeah, if I change it to nav, I never lose context of what I'm listening to. Oh, okay. Status of everything that's going on in the car. And um, that's, that's the basic idea. It's all about just kind of, you know, quick changes and you're back to the road. So nothing ever really consumes your attention for too long. Is this able to work while driving? The browser? Yeah. Uh, like if I'm sitting passenger and want to do it? Sure, so we've got a few things set up. It really comes down to the regulations of what they'll allow. Yeah. But uh, right now we've got sensors in the car that can sort of detect if there's a passenger there. Yeah. So if we have to, then we can disable it just for the driver. Yeah. Uh, but Elon would like to keep everything available right now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's the plan. Yeah, cool.